Welcome to Engineering Culture, where we discuss how to build a culture through teamwork, accountability, and competitive greatness with thought leaders, that is coaches, uh, superintendents, principals, all of those things. We are engineering culture. First up will be Eric Henderson from South Dakota State. Uh, so, Coach Henderson, first of all, thank you for joining me. I, I appreciate your time. You're the man, Sodder. It's always good to chat with you and, and uh, talk hoops. I know uh, more times than not it's on the phone, but to see that smiley face of yours, man, it's my lucky day. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Okay, um, so let's just get right into it. How do you define culture? Define culture for me. Well, it, it, it's certainly a broad term, Mike, and and um, there's it, it gets used a lot. You know what I'm saying as far as what's what's culture, and to me, it's um, what somebody would feel like if they're around your program, and um, it, you know, especially if somebody comes from the outside. You know what 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 are they going to feel? You know how are they going to feel? You, you know, are they going to feel welcomed? Are they going to feel um, you know, from our players and, and from our staff and from our support staff. And to me, that's what culture is all about. And, and, um, now it's a lot easier said than done to create a culture of, you know, a good culture, I should say. So that, that to me, when somebody asks me what culture is, that's, that's what I think of culture. Is it, is it a, is it a yearly thing? Does it change every year, every team different, or is it? How, how do you sustain it? Is it sustainable? Is is my question. I think um, culture is, is is a lot bigger than a year. You know, to be honest with you, I think culture is something that you know um, kind of defines a place, defines a program. Um, may, maybe also kind of defines a coach. To be honest with you, um, what type of environment do you do you want to you know culture and create? as the head coach and the leader of a program. And, and so, um, you know, obviously at South Dakota state, w- when I think of South Dakota state basketball, it's certainly bigger than one person. This isn't about me. This isn't about, you know, me, whoever our best player, some of our best players are at that time. It's about, you know, what's it feel like to be at South Dakota state? What's it feel like to be at South Dakota state, you know, under under Coach Henderson or under, you, you know, whether it's Zeke Mayo, whether it's Alex Arians, Matt Dentling or Luke Apple, different guys that, you know, maybe are some of our more productive players at this time. But, um, you know, I do think it, it, it takes time to build that culture. It takes time to um, create that culture. And and uh, what what type of environment do you want those people to be around? And 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 why I say it probably lasts. It's not it's not a year to year thing. Um, because South Dakota State basketball has a history, a tradition of, 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 of excellence, of winning. And has there been some lean years? Of course there has. Um, you, you know, are some years better than others? Of course. But, but I do feel like no matter who the coach has been, whether it's, you know, Scott Nagy, who was here for 20 years and, a, you know, did a terrific job and, and, and took South Dakota State through the transfer of Division Two to Division One or TJ Otzelberger, who took over for him for three years, or, or, or myself, who's been here three years, it, it's it's bigger than than that person. It, it's, it's about what is Brookings, South Dakota about? What is South Dakota State University about? What what are they going to stand for? And, and um, to me, it's about toughness. It's about welcoming. It's about selflessness. Um, and, and, and it's about excellence. So um, that, that's something that I feel like has been around this place for a long time. And I'm just trying to create an environment or a culture per se that um, our guys, you know, really, really can excel in. Um, you know, we talk about creating an experience for our players that that they'll never forget. And and we do know that winning's a big part of that. So what's it gonna take to win? And, and, and um, you know, obviously a lot of hard work and, and really, really talented players, but most importantly, I feel like you have to be connected. What is uh, what are keys to building a sustainable program? You know, I think consistency. I think creating habits. You know, for for me anyway, we we don't set a lot of goals. We we talk about daily habits and and um, process and and hey, what are we going to do every day to make ourselves better? 
And then when we get in that moment of competition, we know nothing else. And so pressure really doesn't get to you. Just, you know, let's continue to create those daily habits. Um, Let's continue to, you know, approach every day like we want to get better, like we want to um, do it together, a selfless attitude. Um, and, And that consistency on a daily basis is what we believe you, you know, creates longevity of success. How, how much do you prioritize being a, a good human being off the court in the recruiting process or even when a, a player gets on campus to uh, impact your culture? Um, a lot more than people think, I'll tell you how much. <laughs> I, obviously, Mike, you, you have to have a certain amount of talent to play division one basketball. <laughs> Cause we, like I said before, we want to create a student athlete experience that they'll never forget. And winning is a big part of that. <laughs> so to have talent um, is, is certainly, you know, you have to have it, but, but we also have, you know, some things that, that are, you know, un- non-negotiables is what we call them. And um, that's where character comes into place. You know, you have to be words that we use when we're looking at student athletes to come to our program to make a difference. Honesty, respect, selflessness, you know, those are those are character traits that, you know, if we're watching someone, you know, um, whether it's at their high school game, whether it's at their, you know, AAU game or hanging out with their parents or or hanging out with their teammates we're watching all that stuff and, and how are they going to interact with their coach is so important. Are, do you have to agree with them all the time? Heavens no, because we're not perfect. I mean, I'm not perfect. I should just speak for myself. But you have to be able to communicate in a respectful way. You have to be able to, to be honest about yourself when you make mistakes. You have to you know, think about others. This isn't just about yourself. It's a lot bigger than that. And, and we believe when when people have those character traits in in and Mike, more importantly, maybe off the floor, because that's what's going to shine when, you know, when the lights are on is your true character trait. So that in that in that moments of pressure, that's what's going to come out. So we want to continue to recruit, you know, respectful, selfless, very honest young men that can come in and, and make a huge impact on our team. And, and you know, team team bonding is is so important and 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 spending time with your teammates and spending time with your coaches off the floor so you have a true connection and a true understanding of who they are is is we we believe it's 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 just as important as as somebody having you, you know talent and and athletic ability to make an impact at our level do you, how do you sustain success you 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 brought it up like you You've gone from Nagy to TJ, now you. It's been pretty successful. What are keys to sustain, sustaining that success? Well, I think, you know, players have a huge amount um, of impact on that. You know, we've had we've had guys that, you know, have have laid a foundation that we believe is, you know, have it's proven to be successful. Um, and so I think just having – guys around your program that it means so much to them for South Dakota State to be successful. Of course, they want to have individual success too, but but they have so much pride in in um in in our program that they're willing to sacrifice. So that's number 1, sacrifice. But number 2 is they're also willing to to share and, and help the young younger people in our program understand what what it takes on a daily basis again to create those daily habits of hard work um, selfless attitude competitive spirit um, respectful whether it's on the court or in the classroom we've had a great amount of, of players been able to just carry that on after they left and and they shared what they've known to be successful with younger people in their program. And, and, and you have to cultivate that with them and and allow them to do that as a coach, I believe. So I think that's really important. 
Um, but but this is about players um, and the pride that they have in this place and then carrying that on to the younger players in the program. And um, that, that's that's how I believe we've done it. And and so it's not rocket scientist, but um, I'm really proud of, you know, the players that whether it's Nate Walters, whether it's, you know, Jordan Dykstra, Mike Dom, Tevin King, Skyler Flatten, you know, um, you know, Lane Severin, you know, different guys that, that have just carried the torch, you know, and, and my era, Doug Wilson um, has been unbelievable, you know, and, and helping the young people understand what it takes to be successful. All right, coach. Thank you again for your time. I, I appreciate it. I know you're a much busier person than me. So um, appreciate your time and your insight. Well, Mike, I appreciate uh, always spending time with you. And, and I do mean, we, we joke a lot, but I do mean this sincerely. What you do for the young people in your state is, is pretty special. So keep up the good work. A Heard at Sports Network production.